Hello you guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to show you what's in my camera bag for wedding day. If you are new to my channel, hi I'm Katie. I am a wedding photographer and I have my camera bag here. This is the camera bag I take on wedding days and I just wanted to show you everything that I bring to wedding day in this bag that is pretty heavy actually. I'm gonna start with the actual camera bag. I'm not sure if I shared this before, but I did, this is from Amazon. My husband got it for me, I think for our anniversary one year. I love this bag because there are so many compartments um, I have this thing filled to the brim, I'm pretty sure, but it does make everything really convenient because I can carry it all in one bag on wedding day versus carrying multiple bags. So first thing, we're going to start at the very top. Up here, I always keep hand sanitizer because you never know. Um, sometimes I'll put chapstick up here as well because my mouth and lips get really dry on wedding day. So it has this small little pocket. We're gonna start with this top flap here. This is where I keep my flashes. So I have my flashes up here. I wanna call them Godot flashes. I know they're not, but my brain will never stop reading these as Godot. But I have my flashes. They ha I have two flashes up here. Um, for both of my cameras, as well as my film light. So I have done a whole video that I can link down below about this roto light. It's also in its case at the top here. Love this film light for sparkler exits, just exits in general. Love this thing. And then up here, I also keep an extra camera. So this is a DSLR camera. Um, it is the Nikon 7500. This is what I used to shoot on before upgrading to mirrorless. I keep it in here just in case because I'm so paranoid about something breaking or not being charged or whatever. So I keep it up here in my camera bag as well, but this is not what I primarily shoot on. I also will add a battery charger, like a wall outlet battery charger. I like to keep this again just in case something isn't charged for some reason or let's say a battery dies I can go ahead and plug it in and start recharging it especially depending on how long I'm at the wedding I may need to charge it for the reception so it's just a nice thing to have, so I always keep it with me on wedding day. There is um, another pocket on this bag that I do slide my wallet in, so I do have my wallet physically on me um, at all times on wedding day. We are moving into the main compartment of my bag. Let me show you. So here is the actual like main component to this bag with all of my camera gear here. So let's go over what I have. Okay, so first things first, on the top Velcro, I have my SD card case. I think this doesn't have all of my cards in it right now, but it is a case that I bring on wedding day. I bring extras. If I have a second photographer with me, they can give them back to me at the end of the day, my cards. I like to have extra memory cards. Even though I do shoot on a camera with two card slots, so I'm really shooting on four cards every single wedding, I still like to have extra because you never know. Also in this like mesh flap here, I bring, I have my extra camera batteries that are always fully charged on wedding day. So extra camera batteries, super important. And I also bring just extra batteries for in this pocket for the Rotolite, for my flashes, they take batteries. So this is like my battery compartment here. One of my worst fears is to run out of batteries and not have any on wedding day. And so I always keep like extra batteries in here. Batteries are just really important. I bring that charger like I showed. Um, one wedding I did not bring extra batteries and one of my flashes was like low battery the whole time. I mean, it was towards the end of the reception, so it ended up not being a super big issue, but I never wanna put myself in that situation again. In 
this compartment as well. I, I keep this little pouch with a bunch of pretty ribbon in here. I believe I shared this on like an Am my recent Amazon gear haul thing, but I keep all the ribbon in here just to keep it secure. Eventually I do think I will have enough flat lay things to warrant another bag apart from this, but until then I have this little pouch as well as two kind of ring boxes for just the flat lay details. So I keep these two with me as well. Um, one thing that this bag did come with is this rain cover for it. So I have a rain cover for my bag. I've never really used it before, but I do carry it with me. I'm sure this could translate, maybe cover my camera, not really the lens, cause that would be in the way, but I keep it with me just in case. I keep this camera intact in my um, bag. So I shoot on the Nikon Z5, it's a mirrorless Nikon camera. I have my adapter as well as this has the 50 millimeter lens on it. So camera body, adapter, and lens. I keep this together. This is kind of my go-to lens, my go-to camera. So I keep this all together and just kind of put it in my bag. Like I really, really have been enjoying this mirrorless camera. I know it's not the newest, latest and greatest one, but I do really enjoy shooting on it. I think it does an amazing job. I mean, there's definitely some things that I wish it did better, but overall a great option if you're looking to upgrade to mirrorless. I also have my backup body and I actually shoot on both of these throughout the day. So I have two Nikon Z5s. I keep my adapter on it and then my other lenses in the bag. It just helps it be a bit more organized, I guess. So again, another Z5, really enjoy shooting on these. I highly recommend at least having a backup. Like I said, I have a dual harness, so I'm shooting with both of these cameras through the whole day, but if you just have one camera, it, try to get a backup because you never know what's gonna happen to your main camera body. Heaven forbid something happens, malfunctions. I mean, it's technology, we can't predict everything. So definitely have a backup, but this is my second camera body. And usually I keep my 85 lens on this body while I have, you know, both cameras on my dual camera strap. So now lenses, I do have the Nikon 35. So I have the Nikon 35. I really enjoy this little lens. Um, I don't use it that much to be honest because I prefer the 50. I will put this on if I need a wider angle lens, but again, I keep it with me because sometimes I need it. Sometimes I use it. Some people love 35 and it never leaves their camera and I'm not one of those people. The next lens I keep is a 16 to 80 millimeter lens. It is a zoom lens. So I don't really use zoom lenses that much. I'm more of a prime lens person. Again, personal preference, personal style, but I do keep this with me because it is a wider angle and I can zoom in a little bit. And it is a good lens. It is a pretty like hardy lens. I've used it a few times in situations that I need it to zoom in or need a wider angle. It is a great lens, so I keep it in my bag with the lens hood as well. And lastly, I have my 85. I have my 85 lens here. It has the lens hood on it right now, but I keep this. This is goes on my other camera body. I love this lens. I love an 85. Again, some people don't like it. I've actually talked with somebody who said they do not like shooting on 85, and I'm like, why? <laughs> I love this lens. I think it's great. Um, it is closer, right? So it's when you're shooting on it, it is a little bit of an adjustment. I like to keep the 85 and the 50 on my person, like on each camera while I'm shooting throughout the day because I do just love the images that this gives. I love this lens so much. Much, so definitely going to always keep it in my camera bag. It's one of my favorite lenses. If it wasn't so like close up all the time, I think I would shoot on it all the time, but I need a wider angle lens, which is why the Nifty 50 
comes in handy. So this is obviously not everything that I bring to a wedding day. I, like I mentioned, I have my dual camera harness. I have, you know, fanny packs, snacks, other things that I like to bring, umbrellas. But in my camera bag itself, this is all the gear that I bring to every single wedding. Maybe this is a lot of gear to you. Maybe it's nothing. But this is everything that I bring to every wedding. Like I said, love this bag. And I love shooting on the Z5. I really don't plan on up grading anytime soon because I do really enjoy that camera. But I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you keep in your camera bag down below and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!